Hey, um, here's another uh, crazy uh, math idea, <laughs> another math idea I came up with after an interview at Ruby Tuesdays. Uh, shit, my feet are cold and my arms can be tired. Nice. Um, so we have, um, uh, so certain, I'm sorry, a certain restaurant uh, wants to attract more customers. And by doing so, it wants its employees to dress in attire that will attract more customers. Aside from other tactics or entertainment ideas to draw people in, it wants the guys to dress like a chicken and the girls and women to wear less clothing. Though it borders on sexism, the restaurant believes this will increase in sales or do well for business. The question is how many guys will dress in a chick chicken outfit and, how, and, and uh, how far to attract more customers without quitting, how far would the restaurant and waitress's female service go to draw on more customers and therefore increase in sales? Or at what point of compromise or negotiation have to be made so that all three parties are satisfied? So here we have uh, three parties are guys, girls, and customers. L equals loss, G equals gain, N equals random between 21 employees. So uh, move some. Um, so we have um, F of L and G equals 3L plus 2G plus N, negative 2, negative 1, and 2 and 1 of guys and cells and girls and cells. These are cells within this table of, of integers within this table. So it begins with that N equal 1, F of L, uh, and comma G equals 3L plus 2G plus N. So it starts with negative 2, F of negative 2, and, and 2 plus parentheses equals 3 times negative 2 plus 2 times 2 plus 1, so negative 6 plus 4 plus 1 equals negative 1 guys take 1 loss, and then you put it in, plug it in for the girls, and then it becomes 3 times negative 1 plus 2 times 1 uh, plus 1 equals negative 3 plus 2 plus 1 equals 0. Girls take 0 loss. And then, so for the supporters, with the judgment of that, you start plugging those numbers um, from that table, and you get 3 gain support the idea of the guys with the chicken outfit and the girls wearing less clothing um, and for uh, the game for that four don't support so three support that and um, and four don't support that so and then it just continues on for the cells for three parties negative one zero guys left and girls right and three and four customers support left and don't support right so and then it just continues with uh, the thing. Um, so increasing n to seven, just increasing the uh, amount of random people that are judging. Um, you wind up with five uh, game for guys, six game for girls, nine game for support, ten game for don't support. So the whole thing um, within that so far, um, within the table, results in five and six guys left and right. Uh, guys and girls left and right, um, nine, ten customer support and 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 uh, and don't support. So basically, the gains are five and six, nine and ten. Previous gains negative one, zero, and three and four. So basically, it takes one loss there. And so uh, that's just you know an idea I came up with. So basically, um, according to common sense, the girls would would get more votes to wear less clothing than uh, than the guys would be to wear. Uh, chicken outfit, even though it would be funny as hell. Anyway, gotta go. Uh, bye.